Hi everyone. This session is presented by K21 Technologies and in this session we are going to show you how to install Oracle Identity Manager 11G R2 which is 11.1.2.2 version of Oracle Identity Manager. So first thing in order to install Oracle Identity Manager is to install the JDK and we are going to install it on machine IAM TR02 uh, with a user called Aura IAM. So JDK on this machine is pre-installed. Uh, otherwise, if JDK is not installed, then ensure that you install a compatible version of Java Development Kit. In my case, here JDK is already installed under user Java JDK 1.7 underscore 51, which is JDK 1.7 path set 51. So if I go to bin and say Java hyphen version, this is my JDK uh, or Java version 1.7051. After installing JDK, the next task is to install WebLogic Server 10.3.6. So the version WebLogic version required for Oracle Identity Manager 11.1.2.2 is WebLogic 10.3.6. So that's what we are going to install. So software for WebLogic is under stage, Oracle, WebLogic, and then go to folder called 1036. This is the jar file is the executable or the installer for WebLogic server. So to pro the process to start install WebLogic server is you provide Java, which is under user, JDK, sorry, user, Java, JDK, 1.7.0 underscore 51 then bin and java and then space hyphen jar hyphen d64 which is that it's a 64-bit machine and then wls 10.3.6 underscore generic dot jar hit enter so this will start now weblogic 10.3.6 version of 10.3.6 version of WebLogic, which is 11G WebLogic server. So on WebLogic installer, on welcome page, uh, as you notice, this is 10.3.6 version of WebLogic we are installing, which is also called as WebLogic 11G. So on welcome page, click next. Now, this is the directory in which it's prompting us to choose a middleware home. On this machine, under user, I already have two middleware homes. One is for OID and one for Oracle Access Manager OAM. So I'm going to install a new middleware home uh, in which I'm going to install my Oracle Identity Manager. So the directory I'm creating is under Oracle Apps OIM. So this is my middleware home in which I'm going to install my Oracle Identity Manager Oracle Home. So just to repeat, middleware home is going to be Oracle Apps OIM. And click next. On register for security update, uncheck I wish to receive security update. What we are doing here is we are not receiving security updates directly on server. We are going to install any security patches separately or manually. When it says, are you, are you sure, do you wish to bypass initiation of configuration manager uh, and wish to remain uninformed of security issues in your configuration, click yes. We are going to apply any security patches manually on into the uh, WebLogic home. Click yes. And you hit next again. Again, click yes here. And again, click yes on the same pop-up. Wait for a few minutes now. If you see this is grayed out, wait for a few minutes. And then you say connection or you will receive connection failed screen. And check here, I wish to remain uninformed and click continue. Now, on WebLogic installer, you have two type of installers, which is one is typical in which you get WebLogic server and Oracle coherence. Second is custom in which you can select the components within WebLogic server which you wish to install. 
we are going to select typical and click next on JDK selection uh, we only have one JDK which is 1.7.0 underscore 51 uh, so, so I'll leave it checked and click next on under the product installation directories now Oracle apps OIM is my middleware home in which the installer is going to install two or two homes one is weblogic server under the directory wl server underscore 10.3 this is my weblogic home under oracle identity manager middleware home then its installer is also creating another home called coherence home which is a directory called coherence underscore 3.7 under my middleware home and my middleware home is oracle apps oim click next so leave these values default here and click next on installation summary page click next and now the installer we install will install weblogic server 1036 uh, it will take no more than 15 to 20 minutes to install depending on your server so to recap what we did till now we need to install JDK first on the server we already had a JDK 1.7 update 51 pre-installed on that machine so we skipped installation of JDK the next part is to install weblogic server and which is 1036 which we have done just now on installation complete screen you uncheck the run quick start and click done after installation of weblogic server next we are going to install identity and access management software so click done so this finishes installation of weblogic server in next session we are going to cover installation of oracle identity and access management software that gives us oracle identity manager okay so in this section we are going to cover how to install identity and access management software which is required for oracle identity manager 11g r2 installer installation so in previous section we covered how to install weblogic server that weblogic server created the middleware home which is under directory cd oracle apps oim so this is my middleware home in which uh, we installed weblogic server the weblogic server installation created two directories further subdirectories wl server underscore 10.3 which is my weblogic home and coherence underscore 3.7 that is my coherence home so in so far with the installation of weblogic server i now have three homes one is my middleware home also represented by mw underscore home that is oracle apps oim second is weblogic underscore home which is also represented by wl underscore wl underscore home which is this directory which is oracle apps oim wl server underscore 3 10.3 and then second is third one is coherence home which is oracle apps oim coherence underscore 10 dot underscore 3.7 in this section we are going to install identity and access management software that will give us uh, oracle identity manager installer in binaries so in order to install identity and access management software you need again java which we have already installed or pre-installed on this machine and my software is under stage oracle idam 11 dot 1.2.2 dot dot so it's 11 gr1 sorry 11 gr2 ps2 which is 11.1.2.2 dot 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 and inside that i have directory disk one and so my installer is under run installer i start the installer as run installer hyphen j r e l o c which is java runtime environment l capital o c location 
So this is my JDK location I need. Even though it's, it's, uh, the option is JRE, I will need JDK, which is under user Java JDK 1.7.0 underscore 51, which is JDK 1.7 patch set 51. Hit enter. So this command will start my uh, universal installer for identity and access management. So in Oracle Identity and Access Management Installation Installer on the welcome page, uh, you click next. If you notice, there are total seven steps uh, and we are on step number one. And so on welcome page, click next. Here, uh, this screen, it's prompting us to install software update. We have an option to install the software updates automatically on the server, but we are not going to do it to so select skip software updates. <clears throat> Any software update we are going to download manually and apply if required. Click next. On the screen, it's doing a prerequisite checks to ensure that any operating system um, certification or required packages or required kernel parameters or any recommended glibc versions or physical memory all are apply or available or and and met as per the identity and access management installer uh, ensure that you have status marked as green if not uh, let's suppose if any rpm is missing um, or if you notice any crosshair go below on the screen expand it and see what has failed fix that problem and click on retry button right now it's grayed out because all the checks completed successfully if it's any if it fails you will see cross mark and then retry button enabled so fix the problem click on retry and then move on so on my in my case all the checks completed successfully on prerequisite checks click next now in this case it's I need to inst I need a Oracle home in which I'm going to install identity and access management software or Oracle identity manager software. As I said earlier in during WebLogic installation that I have three middleware home in this machine, OID, OM, uh, and o Oracle identity manager, which I created this middleware home as part of WebLogic installation. And that's where we are installing Oracle identity manager software. So we'll be, we select Oracle Identity Manager Middleware Home as Oracle Apps OIM. In your case, if you have just one middleware home or this is you're doing fresh installation, you will see only one option, which is Oracle Apps OIM. Under Middleware Home, sorry, under Oracle Home, it gives you a default directory in which it's going to install software, identity and access management software, or identity manager software under Oracle underscore IDM one, we usually change it and keep it IAM. So my Oracle home for identity manager is going to be inside middleware home directory called IAM. So full path of Oracle identity manager, uh, Oracle home is Oracle forward slash Oracle forward slash apps forward slash OIM and then forward slash IAM. It is mandatory to create your Oracle home inside the middleware home. Click next. So if you see now on, on this screen, installation summary screen, your middleware home is pointing to Oracle apps OIM. Your Oracle home location is pointing to forward slash Oracle forward slash apps forward slash OIM and then inside that IAM directory. And the applications which this installer is going to install is all the identity and access management softwares like Identity Manager, Identity Manager Design Console, Identity Manager Remote Manager, Access Manager, Identity Nav Navigator, Adaptive Access Manager, Oracle, Mobile and Social, Privileged Account Manager and Entitlement Server. So by default, when you install com identity and access management software, you get all the, all the components. And then during configuration phase, you select which component you want to configure. By default, it installs everything. We are interested in first part, which is identity manager server, and that's what we are going to install. So click install. 
so just to recap what we did so far first uh, identity and access management software needs JDK and my the JDK on this machine was pre-installed under directory called user Java JDK 1.5.0 underscore 51 so JDK was pre-installed then we installed Java then we installed weblogic server and the weblogic server version that is compatible with 11g r2 ps2 is 10.3.6 of weblogic which is 11g that weblogic server installation created the middleware home the weblogic home and coherence home then we installed identity and access management software or identity manager software so this is installation is in progress after installing identity manager you must also install Oracle, SOA Suite, or SOA. Uh, the, it is mandatory to install SOA for Oracle Identity Manager. So next, uh, for next, we are going to install SOA Oracle Home or SOA Suite software inside the same middleware home. So let it finish, and then we'll come on. Okay, so when installation progress reaches 100%, you click next and you get a message saying installation is complete. Make a note of that we installed middleware home under Oracle Apps OIM and then Oracle Home was installed under Oracle Apps OIM IM. Click finish to finish installation. So just to recap what we did so far, we already had a pre-installed JDK 1.7. Then we installed WebLogic server that created middleware home for us and two additional homes called WebLogic home and coherence home. Then we installed identity and access management software that created a Oracle home called IAM that contains our identity manager binaries. In next session or next uh, tutorial, we are going to install Oracle SOA Suite.